Now, whether you're gonna start a podcast or do a lot of videos, the microphone you use for those things are gonna be really, really important. It might mean the difference between somebody actually watching or listening to you or going elsewhere. So in this video, we're gonna review three of the most popular microphones for podcasting and video that are under $75. So the three microphones that we're gonna look at and listen to are the Audio-Technica ATR2100, the Samson Q2U, and the Snowball from Blue. These are all USB microphones. Uh, the Samson and the Audio-Technica also have an XLR plugin, but we're just gonna test the USB functionality because the purpose here is to find a great sounding microphone that's easy to use at a cheap price. So let's open them up and see what's inside. Okay, so we're gonna start with the Audio-Technica ATR2100. It has both a USB and XLR connection. So let's uh, pop it open and see what we get. All right, so we have the microphone here, and then we have a little stand that we can uh, put together really quick. The mini USB cable, XLR cable, if you're gonna plug into a mixer. And then finally, some instructions. Okay, next up we got the Samson Q2U, which is right here, so let's pop this guy open. Now the Samson Q2U is essentially the equivalent, so it's said, to the ATR2100. A lot of people get this one when they can't get the ATR 2100, and those are typically people who are not living in the US because they don't ship the ATR 2100. So that's the box, we got uh, some instructions, not even instructions. Okay, we got the microphone in a nice little plastic case. So it's quite similar in size to the ATR 2100. It's a little bit wider, um, not on the base, but on the, on the front end. Has a nice little nickel finish to it. Let's keep that in there for now. Then we have foam ball, a very similar mic stand with a mic stand extension. Let's screw that on. So similarly, we have the mini USB cable here, uh, as well as a XLR connection. All right, so now the uh, snowball from blue, and this is the ice black version. Let's open this guy up. Ah, there we go. This is such an interesting shape shape for a uh, for microphone. Look at that. That is super cool. All right, let's unwrap these. Take a look. Wow, look at that. Blue. It's black, but it's from blue. It's a little confusing. Okay, so we got that, and then the stand. Let's unfold that, and let's get this guy in there. All right, awesome. So that's the Snowball Ice, the black version. All right, so now that we have them unpacked, let's uh, bring them back all into the show here so we can uh, compare and contrast. And so what we're gonna do is one by one, starting with the Audio-Technica, we're gonna do sound test and I'll play it for you uh, and we'll see what you like and see what sounds better. Now, before we get going with the sound test, I do wanna recommend that you invest in one of these boom mic arms, and I'll put links to what you're about to see below, but this boom mic arm will make it so much easier for you to have the microphone in a situation where your voice needs to be, because a lot of these microphones will benefit from having your mouth closer to where the audio is being picked up. It would be very awkward for you, and obviously if you're doing an interview for a long period of time, uh, to kind of have to bend down, it's, it's kinda, of, hey guys, welcome, welcome to the show. Um, hi, or you pick it up and then there's all this random noise, so don't do that. So I would definitely invest in one of these boom arms. I mean, this one cost maybe 15 bucks. I'll put a link to it below. So let's get to the sound test. You're now listening to the ATR2100 USB microphone from Audio-Technica, and my voice is about um, just a couple inches away from the microphone, and if I come in a little bit, you can see that the voice uh, will deepen and it actually sounds a little bit more resonant. And if I back away a little bit, you'll notice that the sound uh, makes it seem like I'm very far away. The Audio-Technica and many of these other microphones uh, typically pick up just in a cardioid fashion, just right what is in front of the mic pickup. Okay, you're now listening to the Samson Q2U microphone, and I'm going to do the same test. I'm about a couple inches away from the microphone right now, and I'm going to come in a little bit, and you'll hear what the differences sound like. And then now I'm going to back away. And uh, using the same volume, you can obviously tell that I sound much, much further away. There definitely is a sweet spot for a lot of these microphones. Okay, so you're currently listening to the Blue Snowflake. And what's interesting about this microphone is that it allows for a wider range of movement to still get a continuous sort of audio sound. 
um, as you can see I'm moving around the mic and if I were to do that on the other microphones the sound would drop off pretty rapidly and even if I move back a little bit you can still tell that it does drop off a little bit but it doesn't actually drop off as much as some of the other microphones there's a wider range here which means this is a lot more versatile for things like Skype calls and, and things like that and it is a Skype certified product However, if I were to come in really close, I have to talk softly or else it goes really hot. But um, maybe it sounds a little bit weird that I'm whispering to you right now. Sorry, it's kind of creepy. But anyway, uh, this microphone is great for uh, more versatile usage. It has a wider range of movement. Um, so you can determine if that fits your needs or not. So you just listened to the three audio files from the three different microphones. I'm going to do the same using the headphones and I'll share my opinion with you right after. So we'll start with the uh, ATR. So this is the mic that I'm most familiar with because this is the one that I use sometimes when I'm traveling and such. You can really hear the drop off though. That's the thing about the ATR and the Q2U is like it only picks up right what's in front, which is nice because it keeps the background noise out too. All right, so now the uh, Samson. The Samson sounds really good too. So the Samson and the ATR are pretty close to each other actually. Um, but there, there is a little bit more bass in the Samson. The ATR seemed to be a little bit more bitey, if that makes sense. All right, here's the Snowflake. Dude, I can already tell it's, it's pretty different with the background. Like, like I can hear the humming of the room and stuff, so. There's less bass in it too, compared to the other two. You, you know the part where I move back on this microphone? Like, there, there isn't much of a drop off at all. So I can imagine this like on people's desks for calls and you know, screen sharing and live video perhaps, this would be really nice because you have a much more wider range. So you can actually turn around a little bit and share things that are in your environment when you're on live. So I think this would actually be a really good live video uh, microphone. But for podcasting and things like that, I don't think it would actually work out really well because of just, it picks up a lot of the background noise. And when you're editing your audio files, you don't wanna have to, you know, select hum removal or noise removal because it just messes with the, the quality. So some really interesting findings actually, as you just heard me say, uh, the Blue Snowflake would be best, I think, for live video and things where you're doing a lot of Skype calls, perhaps you're doing like consultation calls and stuff where you don't have to necessarily worry about having the microphone right up next to your mouth. But for podcasting, I actually wouldn't recommend this microphone at all. Now for podcasting and some more professional videos, like tutorials and things like that, I would definitely recommend either one of these microphones, the Audio-Technica or the Samson. Um, the Audio-Technica is definitely lighter. I can feel that it's a little bit lighter. Uh, they're about similar in uh, height and, and width. Uh, and really, there's no other really differences that I can hear other than the Q2U is a little bit more bassy. And so I think for male voices, this one might be the one that's preferred and maybe for female, I don't know. I'd, I'd have to maybe do some more testing on that. Um, what's really nice about these ones also is you can run an XLR connection, which we're not gonna test today. But that means uh, the connection here that goes into a mixer or some sort of preamp that allows you to have even more professional sounding audio. But as you can tell, like it, this, this alone, plugging in via USB does the job. And to the naked ear, most people won't tell the difference between this and an XLR or either of these two. Another cool thing about this microphone versus the Snowball is that um, you can plug in some audio uh, to monitor kind of how you are going while you're recording. So if you are somebody who prefers to listen to yourself while you speak, uh, you can plug it in here and you can adjust the volume uh, on both the Audio-Technica uh, and the Samson Q2U. So some other key quick differences between the two microphones here, the ATR2100 and the Q2U from Samson, uh, is that the Samson has this little extension for the mic stand, which allows it to be a little bit taller, as you can see here. And it also comes with uh, this foam ball, which is really nice, which allows you to reduce the plosives, which are the Bs and P sounds from uh, ruining the audio files that you have. So um, the other thing is that the Samson is a little bit cheaper uh, at the current time that I'm recording this. This one's about 50 bucks. The ATR2100 is about uh, 70 bucks. Um, the ATR2100 I've had years of experience with. It's a very, very reliable and very durable microphone as well. I haven't tested the durability of the Q2U, like drop tests and bend tests. Maybe we should do that in another video later, like a bend test, like those iPhone ones. Anyway, uh, both mics I would recommend. They are fantastic. And a couple other quick upgrades for you for mics like this. Uh, make sure you do invest in a boom arm like this. It makes it very easy for you to maneuver the microphone exactly where it needs to be and also push it out of the way when you don't need it. In addition to that, a shock mount, 
which uh, often has these like little rubber bands that literally suspend the microphone in, in, in the middle of this. And what that does is it reduces the vibrations that might happen on your desk or from your computer from entering the audio, uh, which is great. And then also uh, many of them have this little windscreen attached to it, uh, which is great. And in, in, uh, in, that kind of replaces what this is. And there's other ones like this, uh, other pop filters, which kind of snap on to the arm which you can do like that, and then you can move it to where it needs to be. So you have a lot of toys to play with. What I would recommend is you just choose something that makes sense for you and move on to getting that audio content out there because that's what's really gonna help you build your business, build your brand, and get that message sent out there to the world. All right, so I hope you enjoyed this review of these three microphones and you are now informed so that you can make a better decision with your purchase. So well done, keep going. By the way, if you want more information about podcasting, I'm here to help you. I've helped tens of thousands of people get started. If you go to podcastingtutorial.com, you'll see a number of resources and videos and lessons there to help you get your podcast launched and up and running quickly. So one more time, podcastingtutorial.com and I'll see you there. Good luck.